Welcome back to another Old World Investigation. In this episode we're going to be taking a look at Fort Worth, Texas. And if you do a search for Fort Worth, Texas, old photographs, this is one of the first ones that comes up. And supposedly a depiction of Fort Worth in its very early days. And if we want to look up some of the history on fortworthtexas.gov, this is the website we're given. Give us the same old backstory you see with any of the other locations in North America. Um, we're told that Fort Worth is the place where the West begins, was the famous slogan we're told. And if you read on, you get the play by play of the slow early growth and all sorts of military, military activity that went on. Um, eventually, it becomes the county seat. As we can see here, 1850s, so really nothing going on um, up until the mid-1800s, as we see pretty much everywhere we look in much of, uh, of the Midwest and beyond toward the West in the States. This is also an interesting part of the narrative. They, it became Hell's Half Acre, having to do with the great cattle drives, the Chisholm Trail, uh, and its place on it, um, really painting the painting the story that this place was a wild cowboy place to be. And as always, we're given a time when the railroad makes its way to Fort Worth, just like in so many other locations. Interesting little bit here, we have this Captain Paddock, who apparently became editor of the Fort Worth Democrat. And apparently he published a map um, that showed nine railroads entering Fort Worth at the time. And apparently at that time there were no railroads. The closest line was 30 miles away. They called it the Tarantula Map, but it really makes you wonder, was, it, was this a piece of fiction? Was this a desperate uh, attempt to grow the municipality or the town at the time? Or are we looking at something that uh, possibly did exist, or much of it? And I always find it very interesting that we can get a story of how these maps were developed right down to the this minute detail as if we were in the room when these things took place. But often when we look into much of the architecture, which we are about to look at, we get um, a cold trail. We get a vague description and we get a, uh, a timeline that doesn't make any sense. So on that note, let's take a look at Fort Worth, Texas. joined by a very special guest in this one, a junior explorer. Hey guys! So the location we're looking at in this video is Fort Worth in Texas. Right next to Dallas, this is a major um, population center now, kind of merged into one city, but we're going to be looking at Fort Worth. And I always like to start with the population demographics. Here we have a modern day population just under a million probably more than that, including surrounding areas. Um, 1900, our benchmark for the channel, not quite 30,000 people. So you can see it's springing up from really nothing, the cattle drives, the rail, um, and then the oil and aviation apparently comes in and all of a sudden the place just starts to take off. So we're going to look at some old buildings from Fort Worth, Texas. So many of these buildings will have been built in that early time period where there weren't a lot of people living there at the time. Here we have an old bank. What do you think of that one? Um, now I'm thinking of the bank in our town right now. What, what do you think it's made of, this one? Um, I honestly don't know. Looks like brick to me. Okay, let's move forward. This is an early town hall. See the, the cowboys? <laughs> Clock tower. I was in the clock tower, didn't they? Yep. 
here they're gonna they're showing us that they were doing all sorts of work they're gonna try to tell us this is when they built it it's my guess city hall I, I think I don't know why but that kind of looks edited to me it looks strange doesn't it like this guy what's he doing up here what are his feet resting on seems very strange indeed yeah it looks edited I see a lot of those types of photos from the past Here they're showing us some of the high schools. Sorry, some of the schools. Here's a, here's the high school here. Here's the university here. Looks like a convent. You know what a convent is? No. Nope. Uh, a place where that they wanted to become sisters of the church. Um, they would live there. Fancy mansion and a fancy church. What do you think? Small small cowboy town in Texas? <laughs> Seem a bit strange to you? <laughs> yes. Hmm. So this is the stockyards. It's a place where they were, um, brought a lot of the cattle, big big hordes of cattle, um, they say. So apparently this is a place you can go in the modern day and you can see. Even now they have the brick roads and fancy brick buildings. It looks like a neat place to go visit. Yeah. And I don't have a name for this one, but looking pretty fancy, isn't it? How come half of it is blurred out? I don't know. It's an obscure photograph. We'll move on. So this would be the uh, the College and Academy for Women. Uh, they give us a time frame here, but these are nice, big, fancy buildings. Uh -huh. Basement windows. But, um... That part up there, mm -hmm. no, 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 there, mm -hmm. it definitely looks like there was, like, something on that. You think so? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here we get a street scene. So we know that the railroad didn't come in until the 1880s, really. And then you have this um, streetcar tracks going down the middle here, with these wide streets. Mm -hmm. um, this is from an early time period. They're still driving the horse and buggies. There's a few automobiles, but so really 20, 30 years tops for any of this stuff to have gone up. <laughs> this stuff doesn't look new to me. I don't know about to your eye. What do you think? Does this look, look like new construction <laughs> or look like it's been there a while? It looks like it's been there for a long time. Like a hundred years, eh? Well, I know, it's strange. That's why Daddy doesn't trust the official historical. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what this one is. I think this is maybe a veterans college. Or something. I could have that wrong. Locals are going to tell me. Um, please do. I'm not an expert on the area. <laughs> so if you're from the area, uh, feel free to clarify anything that I, uh, I say here. This is a bit strange. We have, uh, looks like a Giza Shriner. Uh, this is Moslaw's Mosque. Very strange building to have in that area. These are where these, uh, these people meet in secret, smoke cigars, and uh, have all sorts of laughs and whiskey. <laughs> Another street scene. So here we're seeing, what do you see on the road there? Does that look like pavement? or? I don't know, it's like lines. Bricks, like... brick roads, or brick pavers. You see them all over in the old world streets. Nice little scene. But I feel like like there's like little stripes there. Well, there's rows of bricks. It's difficult to see it going this way. Oh. Yeah. Polytechnic College. Uh, almost a drawing, this one, isn't it, really? Yeah. But they're still depicting pretty fancy building. You can see the circular dormers coming off the roof. A little spire. Oh, uh, what? Those are called dormers. Whenever you see a little window coming off the roof like that. Um, that's a dormer. That's the name for it. Pretty fancy. Whoa, this one. This one's fancy. Looking pretty castle-y. Hmm? Mm -hmm. See the stonework in there as we zoom a little closer. St. Joseph's Hospital. Interesting. Now, 
look at, see up here we saw this photo earlier or a version of this photo it's not the same photo because there were guys up on here but again not making a lot of sense i think they're trying to tell us this is the um city hall which we will be looking at it just compared to how like it just looks edited the people up there yeah you wouldn't stand right there would you yeah you see again you see this all over in the uh, old world depictions like compared to how clear the building looks and how blurry the people up there look mm -hmm. it just doesn't make any sense so yeah hard to trust we got basement windows too so i'm gonna say edit it hmm. some sort of school for children obviously there's a lot of kids isn't it uh -huh. and then how old is this photograph remember there's not even thirty thousand people living there at the turn of the 20th century. It's a lot of children. And uh, if you go back to that corner up there, it's looking kind of blurred on the top there. Up here? Yeah. Yeah, that's the whited out skies we see in a lot of these old photos. It's uh -huh. very, uh, very common for the old photos. A lot of children, though. All right. The old county jail. Apparently a view of the old jail. I'm assuming this is it. Not sure, but uh, the viewer can always pause and read. Hopefully, they can make up the writing. So I included a few of these from the uh, Fort Worth, the way we were. Rare photos. This is a bank, a City National Bank. Brick and stone. Oh, fancy! The, I like these too. The underside of the balcony, it's like a shell, half a shell. You see that? Um. Well. There's like power lines, but the people like look like they're dressing like fancy, kind of like the olden days. So yeah, this would have been an early time period. Electricity is just getting going. We are told here they have their cattle in front of the bank. Mm -hmm. This one coming from a different period. They call that the Art Deco period. This one will have built, been built in. Uh, well, let's check. So all I'm seeing for the Blackstone Hotel is that it was. Um, open. The grand opening was on October 10th, 1929. I don't really see a timeline of construction, which is very common for buildings of this era. Now, not looking like much, looking sort of like a box here on the bottom, but the top is giving it away. Yeah. And the bottom, and if we look closer, and this is the entrance, take a look at what we see on the side of the building. Isn't that fancy? Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe the bottom is a little more, um, detail then. Mm -hmm. Here's the top as we look in closer at those little... Oh, oh wow. Mm. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, I was not expecting that from far away. In the late 20s. At all. In Fort Worth, Texas. Beautiful. And here we have a color uh, version of the lower area. So it looked plain at first glance. Here, <laughs> we're looking down here now. That area is jazzed up. Let's look a little closer. What do you think these are? Like gargoyles, maybe? Mm. Yeah, I was going to say griffins. Is that a winged lion? Gargoyles are a good shout, too. Probably a version of the same thing. Very interesting. And then if you go down into the middle a little bit, like... Mm -hmm. Those kind of look like... Um, like an animal version of a mermaid, like mm -hmm. a dog with a mermaid tail. Yeah, it's a funny look. So they're doing this in the late 20s in Fort Worth, Texas, we're told. Okay, the Board of Trade Building, we'll see this under another name as well. Um, oh, or maybe we did see it, I can't remember now. Nice looking building. Again, they like to build multi-storied. Here's the, again, what do we call these that come off the roof? Um, dorms? Dormers, yeah. So it's making space of the roof's roof um, space, a livable space, or a usable space of the roof area. A lot of times in these old um, buildings, they take off that portion of the roof and make it into a flat roof. I'm seeing a lot of that lately, too. We'll move on. So you're going to see now a lot of stonework. Like uh, this type of stone, you see how it's kind of bulgy, castle-y? 
Wait, I was gonna say call? like, yeah, Castly like jagged. No, maybe not. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. But again, horse and buggy area. You got the um, streetcar tracks. And that door there looks castly too, Definitely. and really, really big, like way bigger than a horse. Mm hmm. That's true. So. Mm hmm. All right. We'll roll through some postcards now. The old Chamber of Commerce. Hard to tell in these postcards the detail. Just like you can imagine, if we had a crisp photograph of this. These faces would come in quite clearly. You'd probably see some detailing here. Yeah. But the postcard at least shows us the building. So a lot of these buildings are difficult to find. High school. It's, this one is probably like similar to the other one. It probably has hmm. a lot of detail. You just can't really see that with yeah. it being a postcard. For sure, yeah. Here's a livestock exchange. So this is where you would go and buy and sell um, livestock. So kind of like a pet store? Yeah, kind of like a pet store. <laughs> yeah. The Baptist Theology Seminary. So seminary is kind of the opposite of a convent. This is where you're training to be a priest or a minister. Something like that. A minister is what again? Like a priest. Within the, within the religious orders, they have the different names for the people that stand at the front on the altar and tell people what to do and how to behave. <laughs> okay, well... We'll talk about more. We'll talk about that more later. Polytechnic College, Technical College. So there you have again that bulgy stone. You can see it, even though it's a um, postcard. Interesting mm -hmm. how the entrance is up a little bit. You have to walk up some steps to get to the front door. And then you can see the entrances in there. Well, you do see like a bunch of stairs a lot for buildings. Mm -hmm. I feel. It's fairly common, and you have an entrance below the main entrance. Do you see that? Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. It's like the building actually didn't have all this dirt around it when it was initially built. Mm -hmm. Something's changed and something had to be modified. Okay, the First Methodist Church, we'll see a photograph of this moving forward as well. They give us the cost, $125,000, thanks. No, not a penny more, not a penny less. Looking like it could have been a government building of some sort. It doesn't really look like a church. Mm -hmm. Or what I'm used to seeing as a church. Oh, here's the post office. We'll take a closer look at that a little later in the video. Let's move along. Fort Worth National Bank Building. Looking very old worldish with the basement windows and the very, again, that high circular entryway. Arched entryway, I should say. Oh, the YMCA. We have a YMCA. Doesn't look like that, though. No. This is actually kind of a tame YMCA compared to many of the YMCAs I've seen. Really? Mm-hmm. I've seen some amazing ones. This is a YMCA gym. Well, apparently there's a place for people to live as well. Oh. Library. Carnegie Library. We've seen a lot of these in other towns. Yes, there are. They made thousands of them, apparently. Yeah. In a very short period of time. I did a video on Andrew Carnegie just to you know a little bit more about him now this is interesting let's look a little bit closer at the old central fire station why do you think they built the fire station to look like a castle yeah that's 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 i mm. interesting was that a high door or is it always a transom transom is the window above the door that whole setup there I find this interesting under the windows too. You see how the stone changes? You get these lines. And yeah. You see it here. You see it here. Uh -huh. It's very interesting looking building. By yeah. the windows? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, under the windows. The sills. Uh -huh. This is very interesting part too. Yeah. That... Very difficult stonework there. Mm-hmm. Difficult to put all that together. Not making sense for a small cow town, they called it actually. Cow town for a while. We have our own cow town up here in Canada, don't we? We do. Yeah, Calgary is also known as cow town. Very similar narrative too with the oil. Very interesting. Oh. All right. Uh, here's a church, and what do you know? They must have had a lot of the stone. 
here, Gloria. Mm. But these are circular, difficult to build. Circular. Yeah. And then all these cones on top. And then what's that? That's not a cross. This is supposed to be a church. Mm. I wonder what that is. It's, they blurred out so obviously they can't really want us to know what that, that is on the top. Maybe, maybe. Definitely, uh, the clouds look a bit fake. You know, just barely make them out. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so this looks like they're doing tours. So a round trip for the First Baptist Sunday School. They're taking the Sunday School around town. They're going to sightsee in their own city. What's there to see? Maybe they're new to this place. Maybe. Hey, Maybe they've just been introduced to Fort Worth. Here's another church. Feeling like a castle. Yeah, yeah this, that, that does not look like a church. Okay, here's the photograph of the church we looked at in the postcard. Here's that church. You see the difference, too, from postcard to... Uh, uh, oh, yeah, I'm not trying to remember it right now. Oh, yeah. Here, I'll show you. Oh, yeah, that one. Okay, here's the postcard. Let's go back to the photo. And what gets me right away is definitely the wide streets. So this, this town was laid out with these wide streets. It's like they knew the streetcars were coming. Mm. I left the top there. Look at that. It looks like a bird bath. Yeah. And then what does this look like? That looks like a all the way around the top. Fence. Yeah, or a crown. Well, oh yeah, a crown. Tiara. Mm -hmm. Maybe? Yeah, this is a really fancy church. That doesn't make any sense at all. Uh -huh. It almost looks like it. That's not what it was used for. Mm hmm. We have to wonder. All right, there's that church we just looked at. A little bit more of it, so you get a sense of how big it is. Wow. Mm hmm. First that Methodist. That like really gotta be my favorite so far. What about this one? First United Methodist. Not to be outdone. They were just building churches. Great guns. In their spare yeah. time, they were shooting each other up. Lots drinking of whiskey. churches and schools. <laughs> and building churches, yeah. But still, the other one is my favorite. <laughs> Alright. Here's the Presbyterian Church. This is an interesting little portion here. Hey, can we just point out the fact that it kind of looks burnt over there? Yeah, a little bit. It could be weathering burnt. It's interesting. All right. City Hall. So maybe it wasn't what we saw earlier. Maybe that was the courthouse. This apparently survived from 1893 to 1937. So this building, how long is that? 37 plus 7, 44? 44 years this thing stood. They were told. What do you think? Would you tear that down after 44 years? No. Our house is, what, 70 years old? It's, it's a, almost twice as old as this one was. Okay. Ridiculous, right? Yeah, this is our house is castle. not older than this yet. And here's them taking it down. Well, why? Why would they even... Progress, they say. All in the name of progress. Progress? It had to come down. How is that progress, though? I don't know. I think it's silly. All right. So we saw this earlier as the Board of Trade building. This is the Continental Bank and Trust Company. Uh -huh. um, let's look at the inside. Um, it's neat, eh? All of this. Symbols and etched into the wall or embossed into the wall, we could say. Yeah. You know what that is? No, but I've it's seen them a lot. Corbling, too. Corbling. It almost looks like paws kind of holding something. Mm -hmm. Very fancy, Do beautiful place. Yeah. See the floor? Oh, yeah. I haven't even looked at that yet. This looks like marble stone here. They make everything detailed. Like, even stuff that can just be something that you only use once yeah. ever in your life. And they use very, very fancy materials. Which, even in, in our modern day, would be very difficult to get. Like, they use gold on some buildings. Mm -hmm. This is the new Continental National Bank. <laughs> <laughs> this box up here. This looks like a Home Depot box. <laughs> Just right on the side of it, right? I like this photo because I, I kept this so we could look back here. At this Cox building. Yeah, and especially Cox's. at the 
at the top. Right here? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that nice? That's pretty fancy. And it's interesting that they make the tops fancy. The bottom's sometimes fancy too, but then they get plain and then the tops all of a sudden are something nice to look at again. Uh -huh. Let's see that one again. We're going to jump over to the courthouse right now. Two years to build this sucker. 1893 to 1895. Two years? Yeah. Do you know how long it would take to build that nowadays? Well, it depends on the... They wouldn't. No, they would never build it like this. It's too much, uh, too much yeah. detail. You can see again that entrance under the main entrance. Yeah. Um, they, so it has a basement, which means they had to dig in the 1800s. It still stands here. Here it is today. This is the front entrance, which we didn't see in that last one. Okay. Pretty fancy, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And that's the underside of the dome looking up. I feel like they're always more fancy on the inside. Mm -hmm. And they're also really fancy on the outside, so... But we often don't get to see the inside at all, especially yeah. if they've been torn down. It's very difficult to find this any photos. Is, this one is nice. This is the clock tower, again, on right here. This is what we're looking at. Yeah. Um, I feel like the stairs, a lot of the time, they're curved. A little bit of detail. Yeah, there's a lot of flair, a lot, of, a lot going on with them. Those ones are straight, but I feel like a lot of stairs they have a curve, like the, that mm -hmm. one. Yes, yeah, some are very fancy. You're right. Yep. This curve. Yep. There's another old building. I think it might be the old post office. We'll see that a little later too. So no shortage of stone. And look how they do: wide stone, narrow stone, wide stone, narrow stone, wide stone. There's a lot of thought going on. This yeah, is that not... that definitely gives a castle-y look. Yeah, this is not rough work though, at all. Very, very fine work. Even the church here. I want to know what's going on with those people over there. Yeah, I don't know exactly Miss what's going on there. McCormick. McCormick. Hmm. Maybe they're voting for somebody. Someone local will tell us. Somebody from the area that knows more about the the, the area than we do. Here's that same Cox's building. You can see clearly now. Yeah. Cool, right? All right, another old building that I couldn't couldn't find what it is, but worth showing. Mm -hmm. Little splat marks on there. Yeah. So this is interesting. This is a construction photo they tell us of the National Bank, and we're going to look at the National Bank in a couple different ways. Are they saying that this is Got that constructed by that? Is, is that the same building? Uh, no. If like that one has like it's like square, and on the edge, and that one is circular. Mm. Interesting. It looks like this has got the bars and lower windows here too. So there are a few other um, banks that we'll look at. Uh, this is the Farmers and Mechanics National Bank as well. This must be the original one they're telling us, and then. Then uh, this one came along. Huge, isn't it? Yep. That, that's, that's tall, all right. They're telling us this is a um, construction photo. It looks To me, it looks more like a drawing, this part. The proportions don't look right to me. Yeah. Um, I don't know. And now we have a second junior explorer. You want to say hello? Hello. So that makes two juniors. I'm, out, I'm outnumbered here now. <laughs> All right, we're going to continue to look at this big bank, which definitely has some interesting stuff going on at the top. I have some detail up there. Mm -hmm. um, we'll look at the interior now again. So we, should, we looked at this one. Let's look at the inside of that one now. Take a look. What do we see again here? Look at this. Eh? Uh -huh, and there's like paws at the top of the pillar and Corbels, stuff. yeah. Corbels, yeah. Where do those like, wait, go the side. Yeah. What are those like little... These? Mm, yeah. Uh, it's a good question. I really don't know. I don't know. Of... They kind of look like puffy mirrors. I see it like the fair mm. in those mirror rooms. That's very interesting. A very unique look too. Never seen that anywhere else. Uh-huh. Interesting. Okay. 
Farmers and Mechanics Bank. This is yet another, oh no, this is the first national bank, sorry. And yet another bank, but still not looking like the bank that we saw. Yeah, also, you guys see that paint splatter that was in another picture? Hmm? Like that white paint splatter. This, yeah, this plastic. is just aging of the photograph, something like that. All right, so they call these ones flat iron buildings. Flat iron. That kind of narrow wedge shape. Here's here's a better angle. You can see it from the other angle. Yeah. Nice looking building. Remember Fort Worth only having not even having thirty thousand people in nineteen hundred, so most of these buildings just, would have had to have gone up. There's just like a white one, and then all the other ones are black. Mm. Oh, yeah. All right, we're getting to your favorite subject: school. Uh, I hate <laughs> schools! Oh, you're going to like these ones. Mm. Okay, this is Central High School. Not the first Central High School, this was the first one. Is it, would you like your classroom to be down here at the bottom? No. No, I would like I it to really be in the top. Like that. The I would like it at the top. Yeah, at the top here? No, I'd like yeah. it in the middle. The top would seem too attic-y, the bottom would seem too dungeon-y. Yeah, it's interesting. Imagine if they still built... Uh, um, Schools like this, it'd be like a wizarding school, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, it'd be <laughs> like Hogwarts. That's right. This is That's easy. this would Hogwarts. be the. Uh, That's Harry Potter. You don't even know about that one. Right? Yeah. I hate Harry Potter. Oh, we'll have to censor that H word. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, it's the early graduating class apparently of high school. They don't look like high school students to me. They look older. I could be wrong. I don't know, they look and feel older to me than high school students. All right, another high school. We'll go back to that same high school. This is a better picture. You can kind of zoom in and see a little bit more of what this thing's made of. Nice building. Long gone. All right, a hospital. I mean, out of the schools. Yeah. Hospital's got some decorations up top too. Not a great photo, but got a bit of a dome and some decorations going on up there as well. All right, we have a hotel, Hotel Westbrook. All right, no, no, nothing great, right? Here's the inside. Oh, that that's better. Mm hmm. Right, the columns. Yeah, nice open area. Postcard. Like Long gone. What were you going to say? No. You like that it's being torn down? Oh, I like the little curly thing. <laughs> say what you're going to say. There. These. Yeah, I know. It's nice. Long gone, though. Long gone. Ooh, what's this? Masonic Temple. That's a big building, isn't it? Mm -hmm. With the columns up high. Mm. Not all that fancy looking, really, on the uh, outside. But if when we look on the inside, we get some really interesting fancy designs here. You can see the pipes from the pipe organs on the sides. We also get to see the coffered ceilings. So it's a nice building, even though it's a big square on the outside or a rectangle. And one more look just to get a get a feel for the uh the detail on the inside of this building. Mm. It's nice, hey? Do you see that up there? It looks like a Looks like a rug on the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> Persian rug on the ceiling. And like I'm focused on what would be happening there right now because mm -hmm. it's like a circle with chairs on the outside and a stand there. Yeah, that's a good question. All right, this is the medical arts building. They give us a timeline here. Um, 1927 to 1973 is when it stood. What would that be? Forty-six years. This thing stood for 46 years? That's not a very old building, is it? Yeah. You have to wonder, why on earth would you tear something like that? And look at the look at the top of this. I know it's a postcard, but take a look. Fancy? They, yeah. Do they put attics to make them look bigger and better? Attics? The houses, yeah. Attics. Um, well, they used attic space. And a lot of those, as we were talking earlier about dormers on roofs. Now here's a good example of a dormer coming off the main roof. You see that? Now this is pretty fancy with a circular window coming off of it. 
That's interesting. They, they, we took it for granted and now it's gone. The case for preservation. Well, isn't that the story? Yeah, that's an amazing, I think it's the post office. Beautiful structure. We saw the side of that in an earlier photo. We're going to keep moving here. They had an opera house, a place where you could go watch the opera in Fort Worth, Texas. A very cultured people. In fact, everywhere was sculptured like this. The most beautiful part of the old world. This is a depiction of the opera house, not the same building, unless we've got a completely different angle. Mm. Oh, the pavilion on the lake. Isn't that nice? What do you think? Yeah, that's pretty. Nice to stay there for the hotel. Mm -hmm. You can get the canoe going on the lake. Is it a hotel? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's a place you can have food. Again, maybe one of the locals can tell us. All right, the petroleum building. Again, this is going into um, that Art Deco period, so the 20s. This is from 1927, so right in that time period. And this is the type of details we get on that building. They tell us the architect and they give us the owl. Who, who, Mr. Owl? <laughs> but you can see, again, the, the details along the top. All right, we get to the post office. I showed you a postcard earlier of this. Now we're looking at a photograph. Not looking spectacular, looking a bit run down to my eye. I don't know what you think. But let's look at the inside. Take a look at those wow. columns. You like, you like that? The insides are always better, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Which is why we don't see so many of the insides. Here's the outside. Remember, it was Cowtown. Oh, yeah. Mm. This is some of the detailing you would see on the ceiling. It's nice, isn't it? Mm, yeah. And then one more shot here. The green columns. Probably yeah, a green like granite. Color. All right, the junior explorers are getting tired, but we'll soldier on. They are not. Oh, well, I got that impression. A few more high schools. Northside and Arlington Heights. They're all pretty fancy, aren't they? It was not just one fancy high school. I think we saw this one from the other angle, junior high. Oh, we saw that one too. Let's move along here. This is another school. Peter Smith School. Built like a castle. Yeah. Now we're looking at another Art Deco building, the Sinclair building. You can't really make out the detail again from the outside. You get a little bit of an idea, but we have a few more close-ups. So this is the elevator area in that building. Pretty nice, eh? Mm -hmm. Pretty interesting. Green again. Mm -hmm. I like that color. This is the outside of the building looking up. Nice, eh? Mm, a unique design. Another look here from the inside. And I've got one shot of the outside at the top there. So if we could see it up close on that look at the entire building, we'd see these looking birds perched up there. It's neat, isn't it? All right, you guys are going to like this. This is the Spring Palace. Wow. 1889. That's, that's pretty. So they say they made this thing out of, well, you know, like corn and things that you would uh, harvest. You've seen the corn palaces? Have that's I shown right. you those? Corn decorated on the outside, or like made. They corn. say the entire thing. Oh. I, I find it difficult mm. to believe. But, what? So there's a better look at it, right? We're getting. It's almost like this. They're saying, "Oh, this was easy. It was easy for us to build this way." So we just made these things like this as well. I don't know. That's why I don't know what to say about that. Yeah, me Apparently, this thing uh, burned. There's a bit more detail. All right, on to the next building. The Star Telegram building. You're going to get that nice detailing along the top. We'll just keep rolling. Steadfast Baptist. That's a church. You seen churches like this around? Um, no. That could have been a courthouse. Easily. Yeah. 
What a building. Ooh. And then we saw, this is St. Joseph's. We saw St. Joseph's earlier, but didn't have all this on top. So I'm not sure if this is an earlier depiction or if it's a different building. We'll keep rolling now, just to get to the end of the file. We're almost there. First National Bank and the Fort Worth National Bank. Got to have those banks nice and fancy, fancy. Mm. So we have an idea what they look like on the inside now, don't we? With the corbels and the fanciness. Yeah. Hmm? All right, going to get to the end of this video with some train stations. This is the old train depot. Nice, eh? The, uh, I think like a castle. <laughs> yeah. Here's them. Uh, here's it burning to the ground. It's almost like they're having a ceremony, burning it down. You have to wonder sometimes. Yeah. Here is the Texas and Pacific passenger station. Oh, this is a very large building, isn't it? And yeah. it's got these four domes on the side, and there's quite a bit going on with this one. So I have some inside and some outside. Let's look at the dome up close. Wow. Mm-hmm. For a very large building. And again, we get that same old story that this was opened on October 25th in 1931. And they don't really tell us much more about the building timeline, which is strange. In 1931, a year, what they called the Great Depression. Great Depression? Yeah, when their stock market, the stock market collapsed in 1929, and the world was plunged into a Great Depression. Which means there wasn't a lot of money going around, and a lot of people were relocated and dislocated, all, all of those things. So, a very difficult time, yet these buildings were going up. No problem. So we have, there's the ceiling. Give you a sense of what it looks like on the inside. A little bit more. Check out those lights. Check out those lights. Whoa! And that then you... looks like something from Cinderella or something. Also, when I get closer to the ceiling, you realize this is not a drawing or a painting. Can you see that? This is what we would might call embossed onto that ceiling, which means it bumps out. It looks like it's made of paper. This? No, the, the, the light. light. Mm, I doubt it though. Glass for sure. Yeah. There's a looking up at the ceiling in this amazing passenger station in Fort Worth, which is a bit of a strange search as well. It seems to be hidden on a search unless you know what you're looking for. Yeah. Anything to say, other junior explorer over there? What do you think? This one. Mm -hmm. That one's the I one think that. There's clocks on all sides. Yeah, probably one facing each direction. You don't see any? No, like here. No, Ever. it's not something we do anymore. Yeah. We just use our cell phones to find out the time, right? <laughs> this is apparently the an old Union Depot before these ones. Which is interesting. And then we have another one of those old stone buildings. We call it the Wheat Building, and I wanted to show this one. As you can see, as we get closer, what do you guys see there? What does that look like to you? Street level? Mm, looks old, that's for sure. Sure does. Yeah. But can you see the, down here? Yeah. Below the street level? It looks like doors. Mm hmm. Down. Doors are windows below the street level. Very interesting and something we see quite often in these old style, old world buildings. All right, we'll get to the last one. The Will Rogers Arena, I assume. I just threw it in there. I thought it was interesting. The tower is interesting. Bit of Art Deco styling. That kind of looks like the glass from Edmonton. Maybe. Okay. Um, I would like to thank you for joining me in this video, and the Junior Explorers would like to thank you as well. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. Till next time. <laughs>